What's up guys, New School Cool here. Uh, with all the buzz that has been around this new Fire Emblem Heroes game, I'm going to be taking it back old school. I'm going to be playing Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones today. I'm going to be introducing you to uh, the original Ephraim and Erica that uh, you know you may not know and love. The pixel formats that are so, so sweet back in the, uh, the early days of the, the Fire Emblem on Nintendo. Now first, this is not the first Fire Emblem game nor is it the first to come to America, it's actually the second, but it is by far my most favorite. And so, with that in mind, uh, we're going to kick it off with a new game and a fun bit of trivia. So, fun fact, uh, this says easy, normal, difficult. Uh, due to translation issues, this is actually normal, uh, hard, and insane. So, we're going to play normal. <laughs> Which is actually hard, but not insane. Alright, so we're gonna read this. In an age long past, evil flooded over the land. Creatures awash in the dark tide ran wild, pushing mankind to the brink of annihilation. In its despair, mankind appealed to the heavens, and from a blinding light came hope. The Sacred Stones. These five glorious treasures held the power to dispel evil. The hero Grotto and his warriors used the sacred stones to combat evil's darkness. They defeated the demon king and sealed his soul away within the stones. With the darkness imprisoned, peace returned to Magvale. But this peace would not last. The continent of Magvel. For some 800 years, a quiet peace reigned in the absence of the terrible darkness. The sacred stones have been passed from generation to generation. Nations have been built around their power and their legacy. The kingdom of Renas, ruled by Fado, the peerless warrior king. The Kingdom of Freelia, ruled by Hayden, the Venerable Sage King. The Kingdom of Jahana, ruled by Ismar, the Queen of the White Dunes. The Theocracy of Rostin, ruled by Mansell, the Divine Emperor. The Grotto Empire, ruled by Vigarde, the stalwart, silent emperor. I wonder who the villain could be. <laughs> These five countries house the power of the sacred stones. They are joined by the emerging mercantile Republic of Carcino. In these times of peace, Tales of past conflict have drifted into legend, and memories of the ancient dark arts have all but evaporated. It is now the year 803. In an instant, the whole of Magvel is threatened by an unexpected atrocity. The Grotto Empire the largest of the sac uh, sacred stone nations has invaded the kingdom of Reynas under orders from Emperor Emperor Vigarde. I always imagine he was Italian, just fits him. This his coloring, I mean. A longtime ally of Grotto, Renas is caught off guard, unable to mount any resistance. Peerless warrior, my ass. <laughs> Grotto's forces move quickly, seizing one territory after another. Compounding King Fado's worries, his son, Prince Ephraim, has gone missing. 
Grado's momentum carries its armies to the gates of Castle Rennes itself. Rennes will fall. It is inevitable. Dun dun dun. Oh, prologue. The fall of Rennes. Well, that didn't last very long. Nice and easy. Rennes Castle. Oh, this pixelation. I love it. Love it. Your Majesty, I bear bad news. The castle gate has been breached. Emperor Vigarde's forces are within the castle walls. I understand. The garrison has fallen. We've lost contact with Prince Ephraim and can expect no aid from his men. All three of them. Your Majesty, what are we to do? What else can we do? Order your men to lay down their arms. That sounds uncomfortable. I mean, legs I get, but arms, that's just unreasonable. Father? Erica, with an extra eye. Are you wearing the bracelet I gave you? Yes, I have it right here. Good. <laughs> Seth. One word sentences. Yes, your majesty? Seth is the best. Don't care what you think. You can say that he steals XP from everyone else, but you're just a loser. There it is. Take Erica and head for Freelio. King Hayden is an honorable man. I trust he will keep you safe. Understood. And what of your majesty? Me? I shall remain here. We have long held Grotto among our dearest allies, yet now they attack? I must know why. Am I somehow responsible for this? Have I erred in my leadership? Renos is mine to guide. How could I have failed her so? Father, you can't stay. You mustn't. If you remain behind, then so shall I. Go now, Seth. Ride. Take her to safety. And kidnapped. Arr! Forgive me, your highness. Swiggity swiggity. So, like, where do they leave if all these guys show up two seconds later? There's no escaping that. Ephraim, Erica, you must survive. Ephraim, Ephraim. I don't know, I always pronounce it the Hebraic way. I think that's a Jesus school problem that they beat into me. Ephraim. Ephraim sounds cooler, but Ephraim, I think, is the correct pronunciation. General Seth! Franz. Ride ahead and bring word of our coming to Freilio. A single rider has better odds of passing unseen by Grado's men. Convey to the throne all that has happened here and petition, <laughs> and petition for reinforcements. Uh, understood. That big old baby. Princess Erica, we must... Quickly, behind me. You there, with the girl. Tell me, would that be the wayward Princess of Rhenas? Well, it steps outside the castle, so yeah, probably. Well, this must be my lucky day. Well, I doubt it. You're a dead man. The wench goes with me. Never. And we get our first taste of combat, where I will not succeed. I am Valter, the Moonstone, Grotto's finest general. And you're just a corpse who does not know he is dead. Swing and a miss. Strike one. I love how Valter starts out at 34 HP and Seth's basically even. If I had my Silver Lance, I, w I would win that trade. Easy. Ah. No. Scoops her and runs away. Such terrible wounds, and still he holds to his duty? Of course, because he's the best. You're an idiot. How entertaining. Fly away, little man. Fly away. Try to outrun death. More time to savor the hunt. And the kill. Falter's an interesting character. He's completely consumed by his own insanity. I've beaten this game like God knows how many times. Probably 10 to 15. Maybe to 50. I don't know. I used to play this game like my entire middle school to high school experience. 
Princess Erica, this way. I can see no more of Grotto's men. If we've made it this far, we've surely earned a moment's rest. Please forgive my grabbing you so brusquely earlier. Don't lie, you enjoyed it. Don't be foolish, Seth. If it weren't for you, I would never have made it out of the castle. You are the reason I'm still alive. You have my gratitude. And whoever that man is, he was clearly after me. It's my fault that you received such a grave wound. But let's talk about it instead of healing it. Allow me to treat... Ah, there it is. Allow me to treat it. I... Your Highness, I can't allow an injury like this to be an obstacle. But if you collapse and die, then you can't protect her. So, you're dumb. We have more important matters to attend to. We must press on to Freelia. We must fulfill His Majesty's wishes. I wonder how my father fares alone in the castle. Do you think he's safe? No, I don't think that. And what of my brother on the grotto front? We've heard nothing from him for days. Or from him, not for him. King Fado and Prince Ephraim are both valiant and brave men. One of which is dead. <clears throat> I doubt even the might of the Grotto Empire can hold them in check. Wrong. More important to me, Your Highness, is that you look to your own safety. How sad the two of them would be if something were to happen to you. We must reach Frelia to ensure the day of your happy reunion. Yes, of course. You're right. So I'm reunited with my father and brother, I must not despair. Come, Seth. Let us go. So much dialogue, I hate reading. Once we cross that bridge, we will be in Frelia, near border Mulan. Let us proceed, Princess Erica. Your Highness, I won't lie to you. This will not be an easy ride. Please, take this rapier. If something should happen to me like dying, you must continue to Freilia, alone if need be. Got a rapier. Ah, perfect timing. You there, Rannis dogs, where do you think you're going? Grotto's men. Stand back, Princess Erica. It's alright, sir. My brother has taught me something of sword play. I will stand with you. Do, 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 do. So we wait here, get that choke point. So yeah, basically this game is a turn-based strategy game where you wait for the enemies to come to you. Swords hold the advantage over axes, so that's why Eric has a sword. And as we saw uh, with Volter fighting Seth, that uh, lances hold the advantage over swords, and then axes the advantage over lances. That right there is a critical, ladies and gentlemen. The important boxes to look at in combat before you fight are, I'll show you. So you attack, you can see the blue is your side and the red is their side, so you see at the top how much health. The MT, which I've always referred to as might, like how much damage will be done. Uh, hit, which is the hit percentage out of 100, so obviously 94 is much better than 27. And crit, out of 100 again, the likelihood of doing a critical, which is three times as much damage. We just saw Erica do one. Uh, but we're not going to attack with Seth because, like I said, people complain he's an XP hog. He gets like three XP for killing low level guys because he's a second tier unit. So he's a special paladin. And there's another critical. But yeah, I do 30 damage there, so I was able to one hit KO that guy. All that's left is their leader. Another important thing too is leverage the environment. So here in a forest, I'm much harder to hit. So I'm gonna wait here for him to approach me. What was that? Do you think you can take me, Richard Lordling? Come, it's time you high and mighty knights learn to respect a true warrior. Now, I'd like to know how this scrub knows who I am. Probably because he's a scrub and I'm not. You will be the first to die. I doubt it. And three criticals in a row. That's balanced. What? How? And level up. So as I was saying, this is a first tier unit. She's a first tier lord. She's level two. Literally just learned. Uh, Seth is a paladin. Uh, you level up. You can use a crest to level up at ten. Um, or you can level up any, at any level past 10, you go up to 20, and you can max your stats out. 
and then you get some second tier, which in this case is the Paladin. Oh, I'm skipping this, my bad. But you look so pale. I'm fine. Fine. This is war, isn't it? It's not at all like the games I used to play with my brother or Lion. I never thought... I didn't know it could be this... savage. Are words useless? Is strength all that matters? It's so sad. Why would the Grotto Empire do this? To what end would they start a war? Princess. Don't worry, Seth. I won't give in to sorrow. Let's get moving. I'm not broken, and I won't stop until I see Rennes restored. I won't stop until I'm reunited with my father and brother. So, we're going to save here and end the video, but uh, just want to touch on that last thought for one second here, and uh, that's that Paladins are that second tier level, so eventually you'll see me grinding on my characters to get to a level. I'll probably skip the grind, and you'll see the effects afterwards. But I'll have multiple Paladins, I'll have Generals, I'll have Sages, I'll have probably a Druid or two. Uh, I'll have a number of different class types and as the game moves on I pick up more characters and get more classes but I do want to appreciate uh, I do want to take the time to thank you all for watching this video I do appreciate it and uh, stay tuned I'm going to be posting more of these videos uh, as time moves forward I'm going to work through the entire game and uh, we'll see later how it turns out all right guys this is new school cool checking out and I'll see you next time